Hello everybody, welcome back. We got another huge haul. We bought an entire collection. So ended up going to the comic shop to pick up some books. Um, I had left those books there and I was trying to have uh, the shop owner sell them for me and we came across this. Just kind of started digging through it, didn't really have much expectations. Started finding stuff like this. Um, and uh, I started making like a little key pile and the shop owner, he's my buddy, uh, he came over and said, you want it all? I said, are you kidding me? And I was like, and he said, yeah, make me an offer. And uh, I'll save that, that the, the financial part of this to the end, but uh, I gave him kind of a low ball offer. He countered, uh, Laura was with me. I looked down at her and I said, and she looked at me and she just sh shook her head, yes. So we ended up getting the whole collection, he helped me uh, box it up, and man, we had this car stuffed. So all these cardboard boxes, U-Haul boxes, diamonds, uh, diamond boxes, plus all of these short boxes. So I had had eight short boxes there that I was having him sell full of um, image stuff, full of 90s stuff. And uh, we ended up bringing it all back, barely got it all in the Jeep. But uh, all of this stuff was not bagged and boarded. It was all kind of laying on top of each other like you see here. But the condition of it was good. And I could see that immediately this collector, whoever he was, got runs. Like he got sequential numbers. Now, we're probably seeing this, seeing a lot of DC stuff. You're probably, bells are ringing, like what books would you be looking for here First Nightwing. Well, the shop owner told me he was very open. He got the first Nightwing out of there. So when I buy these collections, I always separate them by title. And then after I set them, separate them by title, I go uh, the, the number of, uh, I do it sequentially. I get the numbers lined up. So that's kind of how I manage this. And I've gotten better at it, obviously, because I've done this at this point several times. Um, each time I'm getting a little bit better, a little bit more efficient, but this takes time, man. Again, when you buy a collection, you're not only investing money, but you're investing your time and supplies as far as bags and boards. All of these books are not bagged and boarded, but everything you see here has been sequentially ordered chronologically and then you know by title. And there's some good titles in here. Starting off right here, and this far left side here, we've got Green Lantern Core. Um, well, Green Lantern and then the transition to Green Lantern Core. I didn't realize that the Green Lantern title transitioned like that. So I'm saving the keys till the end. There's first uh, Jeff John's uh, Green Lantern, which is an excellent read. Here's a Green Lantern uh, Core recharge. These are just the key. These are just the books that I've ordered. Stick around to the end. To, to wait, wait for the keys. I pulled the keys, or at least keys that I thought are keys to me. Here is this George Perez Wonder Woman run. I've heard that this is the best. This is the definitive Wonder Woman run. And man, it, I, I think it goes all the way to 35 here. Um, I, I think it might be the full, his full, George Perez's full run. Then we got uh, Booster Gold, got some Blue Beetle, no real keys in there. And then we have the question. Uh, Denny O'Neill, man, I've heard that this is excellent. And again, that's like a 1 through 20, maybe, 1 through 17. Not a whole lot of Marvel, but the Marvel he did have was pretty good. If you're not, if you're kind of seeing a trend already, a lot of team-based stuff. Avengers, West Coast Avengers, and later on, Legion of Superheroes. Oh my God, there's so much of that. Some Iron Man books here, specifically in that um, time period of Armor Wars. Armor, War, Armor Wars, uh, the, the, first, the first issue in that miniseries or part of that run is not there, unfortunately. And then there's a lot of Titans, specifically the new Teen Titans. So like I said, First Nightwing is not here and also number two. First Deathstroke. Those are the books you're looking for. Whenever you start seeing Titans books, those are the be those are the those bells should be ringing. Look for those books specifically. This is a nice lot of Teen Titans, New Teen Titans, and that Tales of the Teen Titans. So right there, 
that's where uh, not, first Nightwing should have been. The art on this is incredible. So you got that George Perez art, um, and then the Marv Wolfman story. This is this is classic stuff, classic stuff. And I love to have added this to my collection. I was so so happy to see all that. Good chunk of it too. Uh, so then there's different. Th this kind of confused me when I was sequentially numbering it. I was like, w there's different volumes of New Team Titan, New Teen Titans. There, the, it's in the early '80s is the one you want. This is a good little uh, chunk here. So we had a little Doom Patrol, and then this nice Grell uh, Green Arrow run. I love those covers. I have that Omnibus. I haven't read it yet. And then we jump into this Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes. Oh man, I mean there are very few keys in there. I mean there might be some ten dollar books, maybe. Um, but man, this this collector he loved team based stories, and uh, yeah, so not a lot of value there. Uh, there's Justice League Europe and then Justice League America. I didn't even know. Justice League Europe was a thing. Um, so there's that. <laughs> this is a this is a good nice book here. I think that's like a ten dollar book. Uh, again, I didn't pull it for the key box. Stick around the end to see those. But uh, yeah, I mean Justice League quarterly. I, I don't know. I, and there there's a nice little run here. This is the uh, Justice League from that mid '80s. Uh, issue number one, I pulled it, so you'll get to see that towards the end. Um, a lot of action comics right in that uh, late 550s, uh, early 600s. Adventures of Superman, nice cover there. Uh, homage cover to an early Superman issue. And then a Superman number one um, in, that, in that time period. So pretty, pretty nice books there, $5 books. And then here's more Legion of Superheroes. My gosh, man. I mean, there might be three, maybe four short boxes full of just that. Um, here's some just random stuff. I didn't have, uh, you know, ordered much. I just kind of threw them in. Again, nothing's bagged and boarded. And I kind of wanted to mention this. You know, you buy a collection like this, the bags and the boards to afford to do this, I mean... <laughs> Uh, the key is not there of that Batman Superman, um, but uh, nice Infinity Ink books here, uh, Crossbones. And I'll show the keys of that later. But yeah, to get bags and boards for something like this, I mean, I don't know what the total count of the amount of books are here, but it has to be at least a thousand. This is all the other, all the other short boxes. Those eight short boxes, I took all those um, books out. Those have all been bagged and boarded in brand new bags and boards. I made that mistake of doing this. Won't make that mistake again. All right, for, without further ado, let's get to the keys. So this is Legends. Um, this is actually the first appearance of Amanda Waller. Um, she is the director of Suicide Squad. If you have watched that Suicide Squad movie, you've seen her. Um, and this is the first appearance of Captain Marvel after Crisis on Infinite Earths. Legends is a nice little mini series here that, you know, $10 books, $20 books, and the number three is $20. First appearance of the new Suicide Squad led by Amanda Waller. And then number six is the first team appearance of Justice League International. Batman, Booster Gold, Blue Beetle, Dr. Fate, Dr. Light, Guy Gardner, Martian Manhunter, and Mr. Miracle. So all those Justice League International, Justice League Europe books you saw that's this is that first appearance of that team so that's pretty significant here's issue number four um yeah this is a nice little mini series and i loved i quickly saw that this this collector he pieced the whole these whole mini series together he didn't just get issue one and four or whatever he had the full six and you'll see that time and time again once i get through these keys your mind should already kind of be going to what what is what time period is this? Uh, this is a first appearance of the new Huntress. Nice little book, fifteen dollar book, awesome cover. And her name is Helena Bertinelli. This is a nice crossover book, Uncanny X Men and the New New Teen Titans Newsstand. Um, 
this is kind of in that time period where, where newsstands are semi-important, uh, have a little bit more of a premium. Here's nice Uncanny X-Men. This is first cover appearance of Mr. Sinister in, in a newsstand. So um, this isn't his first appearance, but his first cover appearance. So that's a nice book. I already had that one in the collection, but it's always good to double up on that. Interesting one here. This is Flash. Um, this is the first appearance of Chunk, a large man with extreme uh, powers. So I, I thought that was kind of funny. This is a nice one. This is a $45 book in a high grade. This is the first appearance of uh, Mr. Bones, Infinity Inc. So I believe he is in the Supergirl, or not Supergirl. Um, yeah, 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 Supergirl uh, TV show. This is Kar Karate Kid uh, from the Legion of Superheroes, his first uh, ongoing. Nice Justice League book here. Um, that was in that run that I was showing you guys earlier. This is from the late uh, 80s. First appearance of Maxwell Lord. $15 book, high grade. Uh, this is a big one. This is Green Lantern Corps. Um, this is the first appearance of Kilowog. So Kilowog's the big creature in the back. He was always one of my favorite Green Lanterns. He is confirmed for the HBO Max series, and he is a super important character. Super happy to get that one. Big one here. Batman, year one, part one, Frank Miller. This is Batman when he was first becoming Batman. This is a must read for any Batman fan or collector. And as you can see, part two, three, and four are here. Nice books. $20 books, $25 books in high grade. Um, very, very nice. Very happy with this. Here is issue number three. Uh, nice, super nice books. There's not, it's not first appearances, but this is the origin of Bruce Wayne. A first appearance of Holly Robinson becomes an ally of Catwoman. Um, first appearance of Sarah Essen. First appearance of Carmine Falcone. I didn't realize that. Yep, and this is that classic cover. First appearance of James Gordon Jr., the infant son of Commissioner Gordon. This little run right here, you know, that, that's a $40, $50 little run there. I have it in uh, absolute hardcover. And then, you know, we've got the Detective Comics part. So this is this is Batman Year 2 Part 1. Um, just classic stuff. This gets into that McFarlane uh, Batman. Um, I'm trying to look at the issue number on this, but this, this is super classic stuff. Classic covers. Uh, this is the first appearance of the second Reaper in number part one. This is the cover art by Todd McFarlane, uh, Detective Comics 576. And then 577 is year two, part three. I love that cover. And then year two, part four is this last one. So, um, five eighty-three. That's the that's the good one. That's that classic cover. But uh, price-wise on this, I mean, this is sixty, seventy dollars. These cl covers are classic, and this one's in a newsstand too. So, nice, nice book. Super happy to find those. Here we go, Crisis on Infinite Earths. So this is. I haven't read this. This is supposed to be one of the best ever events of any in any in any comic. So it's rivaled with Infinity Gauntlet. Um, this this is kind of like in that top tier echelon, like Civil War. This is what the DC movie universe needs to work towards. This is where you have all these heroes coming together. This major event. This is where it all is. So, um, most of these are newsstands. So, you know, price-wise on these, you know, for a nice, a, a nice lot of this, a nice, nice set, um, you know, you're probably looking at like fifty bucks. 
So this came out in 1985. Um, the issue number one is the first appearance of Blue Beetle, Ted Cord in the DC Universe after being acquired from Charlton Comics. A lot of first appearances in here. I'm not going to get into all of them, but each of these books, you know, round about 10 bucks um, until you get into those classic covers of number seven and eight here, which we'll get to. Full mini series is here. Full mini series is here. Um, this is just classic George Perez. And I don't know if at the time of this filming, uh, George Perez has, you know, been ill and, uh, not been given a, a good long-term prognosis, but uh, he's been doing some signings at CGC. I don't know if he's still doing that, but you know these these covers. I mean, you, when I'm just going through this collection, like his his work just kept popping out time and time and time again, and uh, his his art his his covers were incredible. Uh, this is the death of Supergirl in number seven, and then this is the death of Flash Barry Allen. So, like I said, this is a you know this crisis event kind of changed the the DC universe. Guy Gardner officially becomes Green Lantern here, and so I guess this is where DC is like introducing all these Charlton uh, comics characters. I just can't believe, I can't believe how much he gets into like every single one of these, uh, these covers. So that Marv Wolfman, George Perez combo, they, they did some awesome stuff. And just like looking, looking through this, you know, you want to be looking for John Byrne and you want to be looking for George Perez, Marv Wolfman. Like these are the names that should be you know, ringing a bell of like things you should be looking for when you're looking through collections. And then this is the index. So I guess this is just like information and I'm like an encyclopedia form to help you. All right. So changing gears here, this is the tales of the new teen Titans. Number one, two copies of this little mini series. This is the origin of cyborg um, issues two, three, and four. Uh, with Starfire, Raven, and Beast Boy are all here. This is New Teen Titans. Um, this was the other one of the other keys that was there. Like I said, issue number two was not there, but that's what one you should be looking for when you're buying something in this time period. This is my, I had to show this off. This is my new Teen Titans, uh, number two, first appearance of Deathstroke, signed by George Perez in 2020 in a CGC graded 9.4 white pages newsstand. Um, got this at a great price and uh, definitely going to be holding on to this one. This is that second volume, number one of new Teen Titans. Nice book there, nice cover. Changing gears again, this is West Coast Avengers. So this is that first appearance of uh, white vision or clear vision. Um, you know, we saw him in the WandaVision uh, show on Disney Plus. So I don't think we've seen the last of him. This is a great cover, homage to his first appearance in Avengers. Nice book here. This book has lost some value. Uh, Superman uh, number four, I believe. This is first appearance of Bloodsport. So we've seen Bloodsport in Suicide Squad. Very likely Idris Elba will continue that. Huge spec book here. This is first appearance of Booster Gold, Booster Gold number one. I mean, this this book, this, this could be, you know, this is a pretty high grade copy. And then we have several, a nice little run of Booster Gold. Booster Gold is kind of an important character in the DC universe. So I'm happy to get that one. Nice book here. Uh, this is one of the keys of X Factor Run, as well as first appearance of Apocalypse. This is first appearance of Archangel. So this is always a nice one. Uh, very famous in um, his run of X Force, Uncanny X Force. Nice She Hulk book here. Not a super high grade book. Newsstand, Sensational She Hulk, She Hulk number one. 
still a nice book, nice nice book to have in the collection, especially with She-Hulk coming to the MCU. Man, this cover just popped. This is a classic Lobo cover. Little mini series here, one through four. I was just digging, and man, this one stood out. You know, price wise, I don't know, like 10 bucks maybe in a high grade, but these are classic covers. We have first appearance of Lobo, a Mega Man something. I can't remember the number. We have it in a CGC 9.6. I think Lobo's a great, great spec character to definitely uh, invest in because, man, he could be kind of like a Deadpool type character. Anyway, here it is. Wonder Woman number one, George Perez, newsstand. This, when I saw this, I was like, oh man, this is awesome. So this is kind of what they used for Wonder Woman uh, 1984. Kind of the inspiration for that. Last, not least, two copies of New Avengers number seven. At the time of this filming, this book is absolutely on fire. CGC graded books, 9.8, and this is going for like $500, $600. This is the first appearance of the Illuminati. So this is very likely how they are going to introduce like Fantastic Four, X-Men, all to the MCU. We will see in the new Doctor Strange movie, but man, the hype behind this book is crazy. I now have four copies of this book. Super pumped about that. And here at the end, we've got some Silver Age books. These are all adventure comics. Um, these are the Legion of Superheroes with Superboy. A lot of first appearances in these. These are nice copies, like mid-grade minimum. Like These are probably sixes. These are some of the best Silver Age DC books as far as like quality of uh, the quality of the book I have. So I'm very, very pleased to have these. Not really like super keys, although one of those was a good spec for uh, the Green Lantern series. These are nice, nice books to have. Any kind of 12 cent Silver Age books are always good to have in your collection. I just wanted to show these covers off, classic covers. And they didn't really fit in to the collection until I realized that it's the Legion of Superheroes. This is this is so consistent with this guy's collection. Like it all made sense. Like he he wanted to literally have everything of Legion of Superheroes. And he man, he must have had it because I mean it was it was incredible. I have never read a Legion of Superheroes comic, but I now have enough to last me a lifetime. Classic covers. Like I said, not a lot of Marvel in this. Mostly a DC collection, but man, good DC books. So let's get to the, the million dollar question. What did I pay for this lot? I want you guys to guess. I want you guys to guess what I did. Um, I'll give you a couple seconds to guess it. Have a number in your head. I paid... Well, let me say what I offered first. He, I offered him $50 for this. He countered with $150. I paid $150 for this collection. I, I couldn't be more pleased. I got these books here at the end, kind of filled in my New Mutants and Fantastic Four run, copies that I needed. I am thrilled. Guys, if you stuck around to the end with me, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If at any point in time you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, subscribe for more. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.